Today's horoscope and tarot from Astro Academy, Cancer March 1, 2022. This can be a time for feeling a stronger bond with others. The connections you make can be intriguing and even inspiring. You contribute something unique to a group or a friendship, and people value you for your input. A friend might give you some feedback that helps you see a situation in a new way. The day's energies are lively, personal, direct, and spontaneous. People are putting their trust in you, and this, in turn, motivates you to do your best. Today's moon will touch down on your stability seeking second house of comfort, finances, and value systems, bringing new beginnings to themes surrounding everything from bottom line and financial goals. Opting to focus on your value rather than your lovers? Whether it be financially or romantically speaking, this lination will usher in changes in this area of your life. You deserve only the best, and good on you for recognizing that. As the moon is in your sign today, you might be a little self-conscious. The moon is affecting your sector of identity and perception, which can be difficult to navigate. You feel unsure of where you stand or how you are perceived at work during this lunation. It could be difficult for you to grasp how others view you at this time, which can fuel any insecurity or self-doubt. As you go about your workday, try to focus on how you appraise the situations. Do not let anyone get under your skin. In a case of perfect timing, the moon returns for its first visit to your income sector for the year just days before the dwarf planet Eris is due to turn direct. While still in retrograde motion and with the brakes on, as the moon forms a friendly aspect to the south node in your career sector this is a window into the doors still open to the past, second chances, and untapped professional and income potential. Maintain contacts and strengthen your social ties, especially with close friends and family. Don't keep putting them off, because they really need to be near you now. It should be easy for you since you are completely at ease with yourself and won't be stressed by their company. Obviously, when others are in a positive mood you will be too. Your big brain can help you figure out your feelings, so go ahead and whiz past the niceties. Introduce the left hemisphere to the right hemisphere and let each side fight it out in your cranium. Don't get involved. Making an effort to get out and socialize is enough to make others aware of your qualities and there is every chance you'll discover a new love interest. You're sure to meet new people and create connections that give others an opportunity to get to know and appreciate your delightfully seductive ways. Patience is a virtue, but you don't need a lecture on patience per se. Instead, I would caution you to think before you act or something more along those lines. You may not always be entirely on the mark with things, but you tend to go ahead anyway because you like action you prefer to be doing something. To cultivate an almost kinetic patience within your body, try endurance sports such as running, swimming, or even power yoga. Pacing yourself will help with your aim. Today you may be feeling more introspective than usual. Don't worry, a day like this tend to cause one to be more serious and contemplative. Stick close to home today, if you can, and be sure to spend some time later nurturing yourself. Chances are you may have devoted a lot of time recently caring more for your home and family than for yourself. Turn this around by taking the time to recharge your spirit through activities that help you connect with yourself. Your tarot reading for today. The moon, the hierophant, and death. The moon conveys a field of dreams and imagination. She represents the subconscious of the individual and describes what one cannot explain. This card grants a superior place to the occult. Gone wrong, the moon represents phobias, anxieties and repressed feelings that can lead to madness. Help is at hand. If you want wise counsel and moral guidance, put your trust in someone you have a lot of respect for. Don't allow others to influence you too much with what they want you to conform to be true to yourself. When considering your options, go with tried and tested traditional values, rather than the unconventional novel approach. For example, marriage is more likely to be your desire than a living together situation. This is a period of anxiety, depression and fear with all the turmoil and distressing events happening in your life. 
It's time to show what you are made of. What has now come to an end leaves room for brand new beginnings in life, love and career. However radical events may be in your life, believe that life goes on and life is what you make of it. Our eyes in the sky. This is not a day of logical, rational thinking, but rather a time of tender sentiments. Emotions could run high, and there could be a need to escape reality. This might mean that we want to believe in fairy tales, although we know they're a far cry from our mundane lives. This energy can also make us overly optimistic. We want to believe the best in others even though we know that they aren't always able to live up to our expectations and hopes. However, we still want to align with the positive vibe. It doesn't hurt to keep an open mind and heart and a positive mentality. To be honest, the world could use a little more optimism. Ride the energetic, high you're feeling today. We are somewhat allergic to stress at this point, and due to heightened sensitivities, it benefits us to spend our time with others who are similarly conflict adverse. Calming environments where we are free to express ourselves tactily or creatively are good for our soul. As we are in a nurturing headspace, this aspect presents an ideal occasion to cook for loved ones or invite friends over to lounge and take the morning easy with coffee or tea. Mid-morning our easygoing morning attitude may now have metastasized into something lazier and more lethargic than grounded and centered. Motivating ourselves can present a challenge, and we seem to operate under the potentially erroneous assumption that if something needs doing, someone else is already on it. Suppositions can make for awkward moments later, when we find that our optimism was unfounded.